Hi folks. This is my wife's laptop computer. About six weeks ago, something got spilled on the keyboard. Hard to know how that happened. I never used this computer, but my wife and daughter both use it sometimes. And it was some kind of juice or maybe lemonade got spilled in it. And it started acting pretty wacky and it wouldn't work. So, I wasn't sure what to do, so I, <clears throat> I called up a computer repair store that's, computer repair shop that's, that's in my, my area, and I asked them about it, and they said, well, if something got spilled on it, then uh, you might as well just trash it, and uh, we'll, we'll try to save it we'll save the information off of the hard disk and that's about the best we can do. But I didn't accept that answer. I didn't like that answer. I thought that uh, that wasn't really uh, that wasn't really a, a good answer for me. So I decided to see what I could do to maybe save this uh, save this laptop computer because I really don't feel like running out and buying a new one. Anyway, uh, I'll show you what I did. The first thing that I did was I removed I removed this panel. And in order to do that, you need a a knife. Well, the first thing to do is unplug it and also take out the battery. And then uh, you can pry this up, this cover. It comes off pretty easily. And then this keyboard can be accessed. Now, on this particular computer, this is the connector, the ribbon connector right here. And this is the connector for it. This is what holds the, the keyboard in place. And you move this, this forward, and that will release the keyboard. Now, this isn't the keyboard that was in it that was damaged. Uh, this is the one that was damaged. And uh, I went online. I went on eBay and I bought this other keyboard. I bought it from Hong Kong. It cost $16 shipped. <clears throat> and I had them send it over here. But I, I bought the wrong one. Uh, the one I bought was for a German computer and I didn't know that certain letters on the German computer are different than the American setup but they are. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, after I got the, uh, the keyboard out, in order to make sure this computer worked, what I did was I plugged in this USB keyboard to try to troubleshoot this thing to see if the computer itself would work. So I plugged it in and I turned it on. So I've got the it plugged back in and I turned it on after drying it all drying it all out as much as I could. And sure enough, it worked work with this USB keyboard. So that's when I decided to buy this replacement keyboard for it. Uh, and while we're on the subject of keyboards, uh, on these kind of keyboards you can't you can't change the keys. The keys on these, if you take them off, will uh, you can't put them back on. Uh, it's just pretty much impossible to do it. 
So the thing works. And that's the good news. The keyboard was the problem. There's nothing wrong with the computer itself. So I'm going to turn this off again. And I'll show you that it's really very easy to put a new keyboard in this. I bought another keyboard. Uh, this one is the right one, hopefully. And this is how they come. Now, this cost me $16, and this is a generic keyboard. It's not an OEM keyboard, but I think it'll work. And it says, best wishes. Thank you for your purchase. Anyway, uh, all you need to do is just slide this. Oh, unplug it first. <coughs> and just slide this in. So it's, it, I've got it slid in now. Now pushing this connector back. Oh, I missed. in and now we can get it to work so I'll plug it back in the battery is out don't forget that now we're going to try to turn it on to see what happens I unplugged the USB keyboard. So I've got the keyboard in, and now I'm going to replace this cover. Is all it does is snap in. Uh, it's really not that challenging to get it in. It snaps in, snaps in place. Just make sure it's all pushed down. And then we'll turn it on. Turned it on.
Now it's powering up, so that's how easy it is to replace a keyboard, but uh, I think the bigger lesson here is that even if a professional tells you that uh, your computer is trashed because something got spilled in it, it's still worthwhile to, to try to troubleshoot it a little bit more. You know, I took the keyboard out and I put in the USB keyboard and, and that uh, told me that the computer itself was still functional. And even if a new keyboard didn't work, it could still be used with the USB keyboard. So then this computer wouldn't have had to be thrown out. So I just thought that people might like to, to see this and uh, to see First of all, how easy it is to troubleshoot a simple problem like a, something getting spilled on a keyboard. And then uh, how to do a little further troubleshooting and repair. Uh, putting the keyboard in is not a difficult thing to do on one of these computers. So that's it. Thanks for watching.